Good morning, everyone. Scarlett is two days past her due date, which is normal for her. Uh, her last letter, she was three days past. Um, this morning, we're seeing a couple signs. She's definitely panting some. Um, and I did take her temperature this morning, and it was 98.3. So usually they have a temperature change 24 hours prior to labor. Um, I wasn't completely keeping track of her temperature as much just because she shows enough other signs such as panning and stuff like that that I just go by. Um, but the temperature change definitely lets me know that it'll be within the next day here. Um, I did take her temperature a couple days ago and I thought her temperature dropped, but... I think I pulled it out of her butt too soon because I realized the temperature thing takes really long. So this time I waited till it beeped um, and I'm hoping that it was more, more exact this time. So when I took it two days ago, it was 99.9, .9, which is practically 100. Uh, when I took it two days before that, it was showing 99.3. So I thought we were going to have puppies and then labor never started. So... Um, I think I just didn't hold it in there long enough, but this morning I definitely held it in there long enough from around 98.3, so I think, I think we'll be having puppies either today or tonight. Um, like I said, she is panning more, so I thought I would take her for a little bit of a walk just to keep things moving. Walks seem to really help with her, especially when she's even in between puppies, taking her for a short walk if things are going a little long seems to get things moving, so gonna take her on a short little walk to keep her on a leash so she doesn't get too far from me just in case something happens but I think she has to pee or poop oh but we'll keep you updated here in the loop I'd really love to try and catch uh, some of the birth on video um, but my full attention is just gonna be on her because she does like going around helping um, so I'm not sure if that's gonna happen or not but I'll try my best, and these kids want to get the duck eggs, so I better walk back up here and help them open the door. The kiddos are very excited for the puppies to come. They've been anxiously waiting. Right, buddy? Yeah. You excited for Scarlett's puppies? Yeah. <laughs> so, we're ready to get this thing going. Right, Scarlett? You gonna have puppies today? Let's do it. All right, so she's starting to dig at her blankets a lot more. Um, that's another really good sign. So she's starting to lick herself a little more, um, starting to be in her whelping box a little more, acting a little more tired, um, still panting, uh, nesting with her covers a little bit, but not excessively enough that I think she's gonna pop any out in any minute, but um, I think we're getting closer. It's about noon time, so it's been about four hours since we woke up this morning. Um, that's about when she started her panting. Uh, we took the kids different places so that she could have some peace and quiet. Uh, the house is usually pretty loud with all the kids in here and I wanted her to be able to relax and stay calm and not have a noisy house. So I wanted her to have some quiet time and less distractions. Hopefully that'll help her feel comfortable and ready to have her puppies. I like to make sure there's always a full dish of water in her whelping box for her. Um, so she always has water. She's thirsty before, during labor and while she's having the puppies, um, just make sure they always have access to water. I also have plenty of blankets on hand um, just in case she makes any kind of a mess. I can keep the area clean and change them out. Um, and I also like to have a little towel on hand to rub the puppies if they need rubbed at all. Um, but she does pretty good at cleaning them off and licking. You can see she's starting to dig around there. Trying to make a nest. This is usually a good sign that it's getting closer. 
so. See, Scarlet's really starting to scratch around. Um, she was sleeping for a while. Um, she is the dog that likes me here and loves attention. So she's been really clingy here for the last couple minutes and she's really starting to scratch and her tail's tucked. Um, so I'm thinking maybe contractions might start soon, but it could just also just be labor continuing. Um, so we'll see here. She laid back down again. I'm gonna keep my eye open for contractions and watching to see when her belly's tightening. And once that happens, I'll get in there and uh, be of assistance if I need to. Um, but yeah, like I said, some dogs just like their own space and do it all by themselves. That is not Scarlet. Um, she's probably gonna want me in there real soon. She is already trying to come out here and snuggle. Um, so that's why I'm here and I wanna give her all the help and attention that she needs. Um, I don't want her to feel unloved. So it's about three o'clock this afternoon. Um, still no puppies yet. Um, just pretty much panting and digging around. Uh, really no new signs of anything. I haven't seen any contractions yet. So we're still playing the waiting game. I'm hoping she doesn't start too late so we can all get some sleep tonight, but she decides to wait, then I guess we'll be up all night delivering puppies. We'll wait and see. So it's about 9.30 at night and... Let's oh. turn this off because I'm pretty sure she's in here only in a second. Mm, that's frustrating. So I thought I had the video going and I didn't, but she was being super restless and fanning a lot and digging around there and I saw she started having a discharge coming out of her butt so I came down here quick. Uh, it's about 9.30 at night and pretty much as soon as I came down her tail was up pretty high. She was having contractions um, and then she had a puppy but it was it only made it halfway out so I had to help it out the rest of the way. Um, so, she's cleaning it off right now. Check her out. I'm gonna let her clean that off a little bit. over over here in the heat lamp. She's looking her butt a lot again, so I think we might have another one on the way. Puppy's right there. You wanna lay down and feed her a little bit? Can you lay down? Where'd you have baby? What time was that one at? Uh, what time is it? 
What time is it when you're in the oven? It's fine. <laughs> size puppy, that's for sure. Belly's starting to contract again. I don't know if you can see it. Um, so I'm going to get this puppy out of the way so I don't tramp on it and so Charlotte doesn't tramp on it. And I'm just going to get my towel ready just in case. Need it. And you can see her tail go up there. It's a good sign that it's contracting as well. A little bit of blood is coming out, stringy stiff. She's licking her vulva there. Yeah, I don't know if we're out or what. Looks like there's maybe one working its way out. We got big puppies in there or what? puppies. I'm going to help her break that sack off just because it was stuck in there for a little bit. She'll take care of the rest. She's pretty good at taking care of the umbilical cord and cleaning up everything. like to clean its face off a little bit. She didn't, she's too worried about the sack. His face was all wet. I'm gonna dry it off a little bit too. Just to make sure all that amniotic, amniotic fluid is away from its face. There's another one. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my son really wanted to watch uh, Scarlet lay her puppies. He's used to ducks laying their eggs, so we're gonna go wake him up so he can see Scarlet lay her puppies. He'll be pretty upset if he wakes up and missed it all. So I'm gonna let her clean that one off a little bit yet. That was probably only about five minutes in between puppies there, so if we go at this rate, we won't be up too long tonight. <laughs> Seems like these puppies are 
pretty decent size. They're definitely not sliding out the easiest, but she's getting them out so far so good. She'll get the hang of it here. Usually the first couple, she's like, what's going on? And then her motherly instincts kick in pretty fast. So. We got this guy over here under the heat lamp. Um, it's right about 90. So you want temperature between 85 and 90. So we just have him hanging out over there. I'll bring him back over here once this guy's all settled in. All right, I'm gonna stick him under just cause she's looking at butt again. You're on a roll. get a little messy in here um but honestly it's not too bad to keep blankets down uh they're starting to get a little wet so i'll probably change them out here after another puppy or two but it's hard to tell when they're so wet what color they are <laughs> but i think we have Brown and a black so far. I don't even worry about looking at gender yet. <laughs> I'll do that later. Are you gonna have another one or should we put your puppies on? She hears them. I think she wants her puppies. You want your puppies back? I want you to lay down. Can we put them on for you? Two brown and one black. Maybe I just want to make sure she doesn't wake out of eat when she's trying to record. That one came out a little easier. That one was a little smaller. We got four puppies probably in less than a half hour, I'd say. Probably only like 20 minutes, maybe. You're doing good. We should get a new cover soon, probably. No, 
she turns. <laughs> she don't want to look at the camera. She's like, I don't want people seeing down there. Not so many of it puppies want to eat out here in the morning, but Scarlett's just having the puppies too fast to really watch them on. She's really nesting now. She's like, I get that right spot. I think she was rooting around so much because she was looking for her puppies. She heard him whining, but she didn't have them, so I put him with her for a little bit. So I think they all got a latch on at least for a little bit. Scarlet seems to be resting a little bit now. She popped out four in a pretty short amount of time, so we'll let her take a little bit of a break and then if she doesn't have any in the next 10 or 20 minutes, maybe we'll take her for a little walk outside and make sure she doesn't have to pee. Alright, she started pushing out some discharge. I think there's another one coming, so I took the puppies off quick. Just so she has her space to do what she's gonna do. Here it comes. Be number five. Let her do her thing for a little bit. If she takes too long, I'll help out. She just doesn't seem to get their face right away. So I like to do it quick. Just to be safe. That's the little one compared to the first one. She wants her puppies back. I don't blame her, they're really cute. Puppies want her back too. I'm sure this new guy's not getting too smushed either.
there's some discharge coming out, so I'm gonna assume we'll put on the car. So I'm gonna get these little guys out of here. I was pushing on our belly though a little bit, so maybe it was just sleeping out for me pushing. Big one. Oh, what? That was another big one. Wipe the face off a little bit. Puppy. Yeah. You're always concerned about the back end. <laughs> that one's got some nice now it has spots. Yeah, some little spots and all in here. Hmm. The back end. Thought I might even scarlet a little bit. Scarlet some of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, the black one, I think. Black's ahead by two now. I think. What is that, eight puppies? Yeah. You wanna show them the puppies? <clears throat> eight puppies and one, two, three, five of them are, is that five of them are black? Right, yep, five are black and three are brown. Oh no, this one brown. I keep saying brown as she's saying liver, but. Is it tired? It's hard to tell when they're wet. It is hard to <laughs> I think we have four liver one, and four two, black, so I guess four. it's tie. No, I think there's five black. This one's still pretty wet, so I'm gonna get that scarlet. Scarlet here. That one is big. One, two, three, four, yeah, five. Pink noses and the black ones have the black nose. And that uh, thermometer is 10 degrees off, we discovered.
So she's currently on a break, I think, for a little. It's been probably, how long do you think? An hour? Maybe not quite an hour. Since she's had her last puppy. So we're trying to stay awake until she starts up again. So for the last couple puppies she had, it seemed like me massaging her belly, like on her side here, and then working my way down, really helped bring on her contractions, push it out. So that's what I'm going to do now, just to see if she's having, if she has any more contractions. Her belly definitely feels emptier, but there could easily be one more in there. She's too worried about cleaning the butt the whole time. So we're 90% sure she's done. I haven't felt any contractions and we saw some placenta or something come out that she ate. Uh, and the vet said 10, maybe more, but we can still keep an eye on her. I still have to wash her covers and other stuff. So if we see a contraction or something, we'll know there's another one in there. But for now, I think she's done. Now she gets her special treat. Want some more ice cream? I'm down good. Hey. Scarlet, you want ice cream? We got ourselves 10 beautiful little puppies. We'll figure out if they're male or female in the morning. I'm ready for bed. Scarlet's ready for bed. And I want to make sure they eat a little bit tonight yet before we go to bed. So, still got stuff to do before that can happen. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can see all our puppy updates. Thank you.